In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the coming soon page. Right now, it's disabled. So when you enable it, you're able to see the coming soon title. You can change that to whatever you want it to be. Working on something big. Uh, coming soon content, you can put that there and you can choose the date. Uh, I'm going to put 2019. You can choose 2020 or whenever your new date is. So I'm going to change this here to 12. 12, 12. And if you have a logo that you wanted to put for that, you can do that as well. So I'm just going to choose choose this Joomla logo, select. And for the background, I can choose this one right here. I'm going to choose the same gallery and just click select. So the background, the current background image is going to be the background now for the coming soon. So once you've done that, you can also have the social icon show or disable. So let's click on save. So now as you can see, it has this countdown with the background image uh, with it. it, has the logo, has working on something big. So whatever message that you want to put in here, you can put that there, something like working on some brand new content for my website. Please check back soon. So whatever you want to put there, you can. If you don't like how this image looks, you can delete that. Also, you have the social icons here that you saw in the previous lesson how to link those so let's just take this image off and let's click on save and see what we've got so now you have this countdown based on the date that you chose if you change this date this date is going to change and if you change the year it's going to change automatically so now you have the link so people can be able to link to you this is great if you're working on something on your website and you want to have a coming soon so people know that you're still working on something whatever short message you know that you want to put there keep it short and straight to the point that is very clear you can put that message there and you can put a logo you can put anything not just a logo uh, but you can put in an image you can put in whatever that you want to convey at that very top part and if you don't want to have let's say uh, the social icons you can just click to disable it and click on save so now you have working on something big but you don't have you know anything here at the very bottom so once again this is pretty much up to you and that's one of the beauties about the framework is that it allows you and gives you flexibility uh, to be able to do things exactly how you want it to be and if you didn't want it you, you're done you can just click on disable it and click on save and you're good to go